the first thing that you guys need to make sure you have is a strong grip. And this is not only good for general strength in calisthenics, but it's going to enable you to actually do the exercises properly and with good form. It is also known that having a stronger grip also prevents injuries. A stronger grip also means stronger pull-ups and these are such a key part of calisthenics and one of the major compound movements that you can do in the sport if you want to progress in all pulling movements. The amount of strength you can build up just by improving your grip strength and doing dead hangs even with one arm is going to improve your overall strength drastically. Do not sleep on improving your grip strength. Okay, next up we have a very important part of calisthenics and that is scapula engagement. Protracting and retracting that scapula is such a big part of so many moves in calisthenics. Even when it comes to learning the push up and other movements such as the planche, you have to be protecting that scapula in order to maintain proper form and protect your shoulders. Getting good at retracting and protracting the scapula is going to enable you to be stronger in so many calisthenics exercises and you're not going to progress to the advanced exercises if you do not master protracting and retracting that scapula guys. As you can see here, before I do the pull up, for example, I'm retracting that scapula, pulling my chest to the bar and maintaining correct form in order to do the movement properly. The third most important thing, and this is so, so underrated, is core engagement. And this is just understanding how your core works, how to tense it up and how to control your body whilst you engage that core. There are many ways in calisthenics that you can practice core engagement, one of them being hanging movements such as hanging leg raises, hanging L-sits, hanging knee raises, or even hanging oblique raises. All will benefit your overall core understanding and engagement when doing calisthenics and bodyweight training. And there is really a core engagement progression for everyone, no matter what level you're at. One of the best to practice doing if you're a beginner is definitely going to be hollow body holds. Also try doing some lying leg raises and knee raises as these are really going to prepare you well for hanging leg raises and hanging knee raises, eventually getting you to that L sit. Okay, so this next one goes under the radar quite a lot for beginners and people who haven't done calisthenics for very long, but they do end up finding out the hard way and that is prioritizing your mobility. To be able to perform exercises with proper form, you need to work on your mobility. Getting into positions and stretching into positions that you wouldn't normally get in does take its toll on the body. And so loosening up your joints, loosening up your muscles and making sure that you're prioritizing mobility to achieve exercises in calisthenics and bodyweight training is very, very useful and such a good thing to do to avoid any injuries. And lastly, this may actually be the most important one and that is why I've kept it for last and it is just staying consistent and just being persistent with everything that you do in calisthenics. You can't just be getting annoyed guys and quitting because that's not going to enable you to progress in the sport and not quitting is honestly such a huge part of calisthenics because some of the skills are so hard to acquire just from doing even a week or two of training. You really have to push yourself and stay consistent and do not get Get too annoyed guys i know it's so easy to be frustrated even in any sport that you do and especially with calisthenics but the more you practice the more you're going to get better guys and the more you'll be able to stay consistent naturally due to the fact that you'll be enjoying your training so do not get bogged down if you can't do an exercise for a good while because a lot of exercises in calisthenics and bodyweight training do require a lot of consistency and that's it for today guys if you practice doing every single one then you have passed the test in order to be able to do calisthenics and make progress in the sport i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe for more daily calisthenics and fitness content and also i have a new program called the bodyweight muscle builder link in the description if you want to check it out see you guys in the next video peace